What to do when you're bored during corona isolation or quarantine? Welcome to this coronavirus boredom fighting video series. In this first video, we are going to shoot this kind of image without any fancy equipment. We see that many people are bored during this corona outbreak. And in this video series, we are going to fight that boredom. How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, relax. We are at home and unlike many others whom we have to thank greatly, we don't have to work. And second, I'm going to show you a few ideas what you can do photography-wise when you're at home. In this first video, we're going to need a camera. Can we even use a smartphone instead of a camera? We will see. A fork. A glass. Oops. A smartphone. And an apple. Next, you need to find yourself a room without light. I'm here in the basement of our house, but you could also close the blinds of your window or maybe wait until evening. Having a black background would make things easier, but to have a level playground for all of us, I'm going to use a white one. Now it's time to set up the scene. First, I'm going to put the glass on a table or something. Put the fork into the glass and then I'm going to spare the apple onto the fork with the most beautiful part of the apple looking towards the camera. Oh yes, I forgot. The further the distance between the apple and the background, the better your results will be because then the background will be as dark as possible. And now it's time to place the camera. Since I said I want to have level playgrounds, I'm not going to use a tripod. I'm, put, I'm going to put it onto a suitcase and to level the height, I'm going to use just a box. Then I'll bring the camera as close as I can get. Put your camera to manual exposure. ISO at 100 is fine. Aperture at f5.6, but you could also choose, let's say, f8. And the shutter speed, let's choose two seconds. And then we're going to press the menu button and set the release mode to self timer two seconds. If you have a rather wobbly setup like I do, 10 second self timer would be even better. We don't want the camera to move while it takes the image. Before we now switch off the lights, make sure to first Focus your camera and then set it to manual focus. Otherwise, it will not be able to focus once we switch off the lights. Next, it is time to prepare the smartphone. I'm going to use just a very bright image. You could also use a very bright website. Anything that is white and will act as kind of light. The smartphone will be our only light source. Then it's time to switch off the lights. Press the shutter button on your camera and move the smartphone over your apple like this. And here is our first image. If yours is too dark, you can choose a longer shutter speed, for example, four seconds or even eight seconds. Now, what else could we do to improve our image? We could use this sprayer and spray water onto our apple. and take another shot. Can we use a smartphone instead of a camera? Let's give it a try. For the smartphone shot, I had to change my setup because the smartphone has a wide-angle lens, so I had to move closer. That led to reflections of the white box in the fork. I didn't want that, so I put a black cloth over it to reduce the reflections. I hope that's clear. I chose an app that would let me manually set ISO to 25 and shutter speed to one half of a second. To not touch the phone when shooting, I set a timer of 5 seconds. Then I switch off the lights again and press the shutter button. And here is our smartphone image. You can decide which one you like better. If you want to post your results, I'm active in two Facebook groups I will link below. 
And that's it for today's Corona boredom fighting video. If you wonder what that is, this is going to be our next project. It's a do-it-yourself, very cheap photography softbox. If you like any of these videos, don't forget to put your thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any of the videos. In the meantime, stay safe, stay socially distanced, and don't forget to regularly wash your hands at least 30 seconds. See you next time.